What's up, everybody? It's the Nigerian Nightmare, Kamaru Usman. And um, I wanted to hit y'all right before the fights took place with my uh, kind of like a quick breakdown and my predictions. All right. UFC 298 is happening uh, this weekend. Alexander Volkanovsky taking on Ilya El Matador Tepuria. Um, guys, I'm going to get to that main event real quick, but uh, there's a lot of fights on this card. Uh, there's going to be a couple fights that I'm going to skip just because there's no odds on the fights yet. And these are newcomers. A lot of you may not know them, but you know, obviously watch these guys. These guys could be your future uh, contenders. Um, in a short period of time, you know, but there is one fight on the early prelims that I want to touch on, and that's the Andrea Lee versus uh, Miranda Maverick. This is a really, really good fight. Uh, both ladies, I feel like they're kind of in a similar place in their career. Um, have had some wins, have had some losses, but um, they're kind of in that telling point. Andrea Lee is still uh, ranked number 15, and Miranda Maverick is trying to, I guess, grab that number from her. So um, they still want they're good at. Andrea Lee's very good at um, the Fed. Her Muay Thai is good. When she gets going with her Muay Thai, she really kind of starts to put it on. And Miranda Maverick is, is I think, is a little bit better at, at kind of mixing the things, mixing all the different styles together. And I think she's a little better at finding a way to win a fight. So I think right now the odds are minus 205 for uh, Miranda Maverick. I do think it's a little slimmer than that. But um, I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with Miranda Maverick here. Um, I, I think uh, she has a she could find a way to win that fight. So I hope she I hope she does. But we'll see. All right. We're going to skip next couple of fights. We're going to jump into the prelims. Um, this one's a quick one. The Brenton uh, Ribeiro taking on Zhang Minyang from China. Minyang, 16 first round finishes. Uh, I believe his striking is, is, is amazing. He's, he's kind of a killer. So I'm going to go with him. Um, I don't think there's, there's no odds on that fight yet, but I, I do. I think he can get the job done. Uh, moving on to the next fight, we got Carlos Vera taking on Rinya Nakamura. Now, Nakamura, I believe, is the champion from, uh, I want to say it's the, the China Ultimate Fighter or the road, road to the UFC from China. Uh, one of those competitions, I'm not sure which one it is, but I think I've seen him fight. And this guy is a, I mean, he's a killer, he's a destroyer. He's a, a very, very aggressive, very, very good striking, good solid base. So I'm going to go with Nakamura to uh, take that fight. Moving on to the heavyweight bout, we got Marcos Rogerio de Lima taking on Junior, well, not Junior, Justin Tafa, the big boy. And um, Marcos de Lima is a minus 148. I think this one's kind of, like, this one's kind of a pick him. Uh, he's number 15, taking on Justin Tafa, who's trying to grab, jump in the rankings. Uh, this one's a really, really good fight. Um, de Lima's been around, he's got that experience. Um, but Justin Taffa, good, uh, good Muay Thai, very, very heavy hands. And honestly, I think Justin Taffa might be able to pull this one out. I do think he, ah, uh, actually, no, actually, no, don't be mad at me. I'm going to go with the Lima here. Knowing your back is up against the wall, you need to win this fight. Um, uh, he, he has the grappling. I don't think we've really seen that grappling from Justin Taffa. So I do think. De Lima has to find a way to win this fight. And if he's still at American top team, I, I'm sure they're they're showing trying to let him know this is the least path of this is the path of least resistance here to win this fight. So I'm gonna go with uh De Lima. Moving on to the featured prelims. This is I think this is the sleeper fight right here. Um I, I do think this probably could have been on the main card as well. This is uh, Amanda Limos, number three. In the women's strawweight division, taking on Mackenzie Dern, who everybody knows Mackenzie. Mackenzie's kind of been that uh, that poster child in that division for for a while. And this is a banging fight. Both are black belts. Uh, you could argue that Mackenzie is a bit more decorated there uh, in that in that realm, in the jiu-jitsu realm. But 
I know Amanda Lemos packs a punch. If she hits you, you're gonna feel it. Um, and I, I just, I think Amanda Lemos dominates in the place is in the areas where Mackenzie Dern may not be just as good. And I think she's got good, good enough defense to be able to stifle the, uh, the ground attack the jujitsu attack of uh, Mackenzie Dern. So I'm gonna go with Amanda Lemos. Moving on to the main card, guys, we've got uh, just a banging main card for you guys. First fight, Anthony Hernandez taking on Roman Kapilov. Um, this is, a, I believe Roman Kapilov right now has the active uh, record, the, the record for active uh, knockouts in, uh, in the middleweight division. I think he has four knockouts in a row, I believe. Uh, very, very talented. Anthony Hernandez as well. I mean, he could bang. This is a, a, a banging fight. But um, we're going to look to see who, who, who mixes in the grappling here. You know, but if, if that's not mixed in, I think Roman is just better with the distance control. He sets up that, that head kick brilliantly. Um, I'm going to go with Roman on this one. Uh, I think he breaks into the rankings here, and I think he starts to... Uh, to kind of make his way up, up that ladder in that middleweight division. Now we move on to the next fight in the Bantamweight division. This is a fight that everybody's been kind of waiting on and looking forward to. Marab, uh, I don't want to butcher your name, Marab. Delashvili, I don't want to butcher it, so don't be mad at me. Taking on Triple C, Henry, the messenger, Cejudo, as I know him, but it's Triple G, now. Triple C now. Uh, this is a great fight. Obviously, if it's a wrestling match, I think Henry stifles all these guys. I mean, Olympic champion, you know, which no no one in the UFC can say that. So if it's just wrestling, Henry gets it done. Uh, but this is a mixture of grappling with grit and striking. And Marab has been a destroyer the whole time. He, he comes forward. He's going to put pressure on you. He's going to shoot a uh, hundred times if he needs to. But... I think he just ran into a guy that's, and this is a three round fight. So I'm going to favor Henry Cejudo on this one. Um, not just because he's my buddy, but I think that Henry's kind of at a crossroads as well. I think Henry, Henry wants to make a push for this title run and not just the title run. He wants to get back to not just in the bantamweight division, but maybe go up. So I'm going to look for Henry to uh, go out there and really, uh, stake his claim because uh, he really wants that Sugar Sean O'Malley fight and this is the way to get there. Moving on to the next fight, we've got Jeff Neal taking on Ian Gary, uh, Machado Gary. Jeff Neal at number eight, Ian, uh, Ian Gary at number 10. This is a, an intriguing fight. I, I do like, after watching the press conference, I do like the approach that Jeff Neal is is bring into this fight. I think he stays calm and he goes out there and does what he does. I think Jeff Neal can get this win. I think uh, Ian's battling a lot of different things right now. I know he's trying to silence the noise, but I, I, I do think a calm Jeff Neal goes out there and, uh, and shows his best form. So I'm going to go with Jeff Neal on that one. Moving on, we've got Robert the Reaper Whitaker taking on Paulo Costa. Both guys ain't going to try to take each other down. Both guys just going to strike. I believe Paulo hits harder. I believe Robert Whitaker is a little bit more dynamic. Uh, and I think he's going to have to be that way in this fight in order to get his hand raised. Because if he lets Paulo march him down, then he might be facing a similar situation that he did in his last fight going up against Drikus Duplessis. So I'm going to go with Paulo Costa in that fight. Now we move on to our main event. We've got... Alexander Volkanovsky taking on Ilya Tapuria. Alexander Volkanovsky coming off of uh, his uh, loss, his setback to uh, Islam Makachev. And Ilya Tapuria riding that wave. I mean, this guy is, is the real deal. I had the pleasure of, of moving around with him while he was here down in South Florida. Um, this kid's got real skills. And I mean real skills. He can box. He can he can grapple, he can kickbox, he can he can wrestle. I mean, 
he's not lying when he says he's an evolution of, of, of the game. I remember at one point, you know, I truly felt that I was the evolution of the game. And I showed that. I was able to get in there. I was able to get that title. And I was able to defend it numerous times. And this kid, all signs point to go for him. Um, I didn't love the press conference because, you know, he's a good looking kid. He's a nice guy. He's very, very just put together. Um, I didn't love it, but uh, this is a guy with real skills. And you know, it's very, very difficult to bet against Volkanovski. I've done it numerous times in his earlier fights, and I learned my lesson. And so I'm going to look for the champion. If it goes decision, I'm going with the champion. But if this fight is stopped early, I think Taporia is going to have to put himself in those positions to take those risks. And he's got crazy combinations. If I had to pick gun in my head... Ah, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Alexander Volkanovski. All right, guys, this has been my breakdown for UFC 298. Um, might have ran a little bit long, but you check the odds. The odds are gonna continue to shift, but you go ahead and check the odds. Stay tuned for more, and um, you know, repping that shirt, Niger United. You know, for my one fantasy uh, football league. Um, so, uh, one future football league, excuse me. So, guys, follow us on Instagram. Like, subscribe. And guys, let me know if you want more of a breakdown. I would love to do more of just a technical breakdown on a specific fight. So, you guys go ahead and let me know down there in the comments. All right.